welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland. This is going to be a quick video to let you know what I'm planning to do over the next few months diet wise. For anyone who doesn't know this channel was predominantly started as a weight loss channel oh, way back in 2018 at the time that I was on Slimming World but things have changed a lot since then. I started doing more sort of family videos and hauls and reviews, things like that, and doggies. Hello doggies! And then I changed from Slim and World to the ketogenic diet and I did that for the last year. And I've basically been giving you weekly weigh-in updates every week. And uh, with everything that's going on in the lockdown, I was needing a change from keto and wasn't sure what I was going to do. I went and did the... <laughs> See what I mean about the dogs? <laughs> I did the Do the Unthinkable from Muscle Food for five days and I will link that video if you've not seen it. Oh bless you, Rana. Then I thought, right, what am I going to do now? And a couple of days ago I decided that with everything that's going on in lockdown, the fact that we can't go shopping very regularly, the fact that we've not got a lot of money, I'm probably best to just do the no diet diet <laughs> for the next few months because I wanted to go through everything that was in the cupboard and the fridge and the freezer and just use up what we had, not worrying about, oh, I can't have that on Sun and World or I can't have that on Keto. And I thought to myself, all of my adult life, I've been on one diet or another. I honestly have. I can't remember now a time where I've not been following a diet plan or having a break from that diet plan that I'm following for Christmas, that sort of thing, but intending to go right back to it. And I think it's because I feel guilty if I'm not, because I think I should be. And I thought, you know what, Fiona, just give yourself a break. You know, there's so much crap going on in the world just now. We're all healthy. We need to make the most of what we've got. Just give yourself a break and then deal with any weight gain that you might get once things are back to normal. Now, I'm hoping there won't be too much of a weight gain because I'm a big girl. I know what to eat. I know what's healthy and what's not healthy in my head. It's just implementing it that's the problem. And if you've watched this channel a while, you know I've got a lot of demons going on in my head that I want to eat over anything. If I'm happy, if I'm sad, if I'm stressed, if I'm angry, if I'm celebrating anything at all, I use it as an excuse to eat. And what finally sealed it for me was yesterday, well, over the weekend, this is uh, Easter Monday, and over the weekend, our freezer broke down, and I did speak about it in yesterday's vlog, which is our Easter vlog. I'm not sure if this will go up before or after that, which is why I'm saying. So our freezer was broken, but the fridge was still working, so I basically had to throw everything out that was in the freezer. And rather than buying a new one, Jack said, look, I've been online, I've seen there's a, a couple of things that we need to check first. So last night he pulled it out, took a bit off the back and said it can be the fan and things get all sort of bunged up, especially if you've got dogs. Now we've got four scary dogs and if you watch this channel you'll know there's always dog hair everywhere. So sure enough when he took the back off the fan and the filter and things were absolutely covered in muck. So he got the hoover and hoovered that all up, cleaned it all up and um, closed it put the freezer and the fridge back on uh, in the hope that it would all be back to normal this morning. So we got up this morning and the freezer's not back to normal and now the fridge is broken. <laughs> so I've now emptied the fridge, putting everything apart from some eggs and a block of butter in the bucket and cleaned all that out as well. So I reckon over the last couple of days I've thrown out maybe about 100 to 150 pounds worth of food, which isn't good any time but especially not now. Now, this really couldn't have happened at a worse time because not only is it a bank holiday weekend, but also we're in lockdown. We're only meant to go to the shops once a week and that's for essentials. But without a fridge or a freezer, I'm going to have to go to the shop every day because unless we eat beans on toast for the next week, I've not really got a choice and the kids won't. So yeah, not got a choice. So Jack and I are going to have to have the conversation later about what do we do. Do we wait until tomorrow and phone someone, see if we can get somebody to come out? And the problem with that is because of isolation and everything, it will probably take a while to get someone who's able to come out and have a look at it for us. 
and who knows how much that's going to cost. Or do we bite the bullet and try and find the money from somewhere to get a new fridge freezer? Now, I said in yesterday's vlog as well, it did come with a 24 month warranty, which ran out last month. And again, I'm convinced that these things are programmed to break down as soon as the warranty runs out. So yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to do with that, but that's beside the point. The point is that's just sealed the fact in my head that I'm not going to diet over the next couple of months. I'm going to just eat what I can get hold of, when I can get hold of it. I am going to stick to my intermittent fasting. And other than that, I'm just going to go with the flow. I will deal with any weight gain once the world is back to normal. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do about it, whether I'll go back to keto, whether I'll go back to slimming world. But I will make that decision when the time comes. So what does that mean for this channel? Not a lot really. The only thing that's going to change is I won't be doing my weekly weigh-in updates. I will still be putting up videos. It'll mostly be family vlogs, I would think, sort of days in the life because... <laughs> not going out, I can't do hauls, I might do reviews if I get products delivered, things like that, I might do crafty videos, I've got a, my kitchen makeover video to put up, there's a tag video that I fancy doing, and if you've got any other ideas for videos that you would like to see me doing, please let me know in the comments below. So that's all I wanted to say in this video, I hope you're all okay with it, if you decide that you don't want to watch me anymore because I'm not doing weighing updates, I totally understand. But hopefully you will stick by me. I definitely will go back to weight loss because I'm pretty sure I definitely will be putting on weight over the next couple of months. But you know what? I'm going to give myself a break. I'm really not going to worry about it. I know that I can do something about it once all this is over. There's so much else going on just now that really... Weight is insignificant compared to the amount of people that are so ill or unfortunately losing their lives, the families that are losing loved ones, the people who are on the front line, the key workers, the amount of shit that they must be going through right now. So let's put things into perspective eh? and just give ourselves a break just now. Right, so I'm going to head off just now and... I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in our next one. Thanks, everyone. Bye.